Our question is this, how do we most effectively nurture the spread of the gospel across southern Sudan? Our answer, with indigenous missionaries. First of all, people, they know you, you were born there, and second, they know the language you speak, and they will understand you more than Americans. They know you culturally, and they know you physically. Some of our people, some, some of them, they were not even went to school, and it's very difficult for them to go and read the Bible to them while they don't even know how to read. So it's good for you to tell the histories through the Bible, and they will catch it very well, and they will go and practice in their own language. The people, they love it, and to hear that, because it is the first time people, they go there, and they go get together, and they learn the Word of God together. And uh, second to that, people, they learn new things, because they never heard that, and uh, they want me to come back and tell them again. As they go forth and share chronological Bible story, training pastors in their home areas in southern Sudan, these pastors for the first time ever are able to gain a full oral Bible. In addition, our missionaries are a critical component of our radio station project in southern Sudan as we are now recording them sharing chronological Bible stories in their heart languages of Dinka and New Air. Soon, those chronological Bible stories will be going out over the radio waves in southern Sudan, impacting hundreds of thousands of southern Sudanese in their home areas with the gospel. We believe in the impact that these men are having as they are missionaries to their own people. Our people now, they face a lot of difficulties. Uh, there, is, there was time for war, but I said, since this time, it's time for peace. When peace comes, our people, they need development. Through, they need to drink clean water, they need word of God, and when people learn word of God, it means that people will be peaceful, and the country will be peaceful, and there will be a lot of development, because the man, the people who used to be a military, the, the God will call them, and they will come and they join the church, and there will be a lot of changes in terms of that. Jesus told us to go and make disciples of all nations. And I'm excited about what we're doing with the Moses Project because we're making disciples out of these Southern Sudanese guys. Their lives are being changed. Our lives are being changed. And when they go back to Southern Sudan, the lives of the people that they touch are also being changed by the power of the Word of God.